what is up guys we are back with some more metaphor refantasio and uh what was Let's it go. we made it to like this like magla room um like the restroom pretty much that we find in persona 5 so just wanted to continue through oh look at that icon for it too so we know that's that's good when we get to those points we can like save and whatnot and it looks like we have a vendor here too so we can sell some stuff The fact that they actually have dialogue with like the uh this NPC here where they're like, bro, are you just following us? Like what what's the dealio? Got anything new? Nah, he doesn't. Uh we can buy two more of these. I'll buy one more of you. Four of you, and I guess two more of you, because I don't kinda like the multiples of five for these items. And then, as far as, like, team composition goes, I uh, switch Grius to be the mage, and then our main character to be warrior. Uh, it's been pretty beneficial in that way, and I'm just thinking I'm going to go for, like, a, a strength endurance build uh, for this playthrough. Uh, this looks bad. Let me <laughs> heal the squad up. Something feels really wrong further, and it might be what I'm sensing. Of course, we've got no choice but to press on, regardless of what lies ahead. Are you ready? Let's go. Damn, they just farting up a storm in there. I can see the glow of a strange crystal and even a stranger monster in front of it. I've never seen anything like it. It's a crystal. That's interesting. This feels wrong somehow. Now I remember. They say in the lands beyond mortal reach, great spires of crystal stand. And anyone who might touch them is driven mad. That's all just superstition though, right? Still, this thing is giving off a really nasty aura. Hello. <laughs> what the hell is this thing? Monster. Some kind of human? The way it's moving. It's almost like it's protecting the crystal. They're looking hella mad at me. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing here? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we have retry. So we'll just figure out like what you're weak against. What you're resistant against. Are you prepared? I can slash. Of 186 hyper just concentrating front rows being targeted the uh, that mean we can just like move people back <laughs> oh snaps okay cool uh, we will <laughs> get like these weak attacks in just because he's targeting the front row and we'll just uh, move back to the front after or maybe I should have I could have had one of them up further to first get like a stronger hit in I'll remember that next time lose your turn bro lose your turn Just do more damage. I feel like that sometimes just does more damage. I like out of base. That's fine. You can attack back row. You do less damage to him all the way back there. a lot yeah I'm resistant bro still up no need to rage crystallize right in the warrior die 
They going for the dub. There we go. I'll just get up in strength right now. were drawn to its aura we shouldn't leave something so sinister just lying around all right we'll try not to all questions and okay so we can just destroy those all right time to ponder them we better move you can't be serious <laughs> Uh, oh, maybe I won't use an item yet because maybe maybe we're almost out oh I was uh I was wrong I was very very wrong all right so let me use the magla pill See that? Uh, damn. Nuts. Look at the size of it. Not something I'd hoped we'd ever stumble upon. I'm afraid that's a dragon. Huh? You mean those creatures from the legends? I've never seen one with my own eyes. Now I understand why the mine was closed. They must have dug right into this thing's roost and had no choice but to back off. The mind taps a magnificent band of resources. Only something as terrible as a dragon could force it to abandon such a lucrative operation. There's a tooth over there in the back, right? <laughs> Luck is on our side that we've caught it slumbering like this. We can slip past it and continue forward. Almost a shame. It has all sorts of things in its little, well, big nest. I can sense something tinged with magla, too. <sighs> Dragons are ancient and strong magla follows in their wake. Just as the way it goes, any so-called special item you're sensing is bound to have its fill of it. You're making it sound kind of appealing, but we're sure to end up in a fight if we try to take it. Don't make this decision lightly, Blades. On that note, let's push on quietly now, and I do mean that. We wake that thing up, we're in for the fight of our lives. But... but there are monsters around here, too. Aye, if they see us and cause a ruckus, then we're done for. Keep your distance from them as we make our way through. Let's go. So they want us to sneak. Uh, I'm gonna say fuck that, and we're gonna fight. No, stop. Look at that treasure chest back there, and all those items to pick up. So we we kind of got a strategy here, y'all. Expecting you dog to fight. You're either bloody bold or too confident for your own good. Just so we're clear, slaying the things beyond you. Underestimating a dragon is the fastest way to get yourself killed. Well, we got rewind or retry, whatever it's called, so we got options to strategize this fight. Listen, keep an eye on its movements. Be ready for anything. If you sense it bracing to strike, stand your ground and shield yourself. Do not waste your lives in a place like this. Now, let's go, lads! We're on a mission. We won't turn back for anything. All right, so pretty much we got those ice chunks for a reason. Let's try this. Uh, I think we'll we'll try to take advantage of like using those items later. Cut you down. This mage crystallize. My warrior, the blade's edge. All right, we're like a fourth or fifth of the way through. Damn, ninety-three. Oh. Boy, you, you did not have to hit him that hard like that. All right, so 
<laughs> we're gonna be quick with this retry. So what I'll do is I'll move everybody back. Then let's use this item. Let's try this. Now, what's the warrior? Hack and slash. Right on target. Ooh, that was a crit. Necessary. I will. The blade's edge. Seventy-seven, seventy-three. We can, we can deal with that. Closing the distance. So if no, I back with this. The power of heels. Right with sword in hand. I could have packed always, Rius. Better conserve. Oh, I pressed the wrong button there. I can't afford to hold. Withdraw it. This calls for one of these. It's a weak point. No. Mage! Please! Damn. I'm gonna go kill everybody up. Helpful as ever. No thanks. I shall fight as the noble I am. Time to go offensive. Moving to the room. Yeah. Do with this. Hit the weak point. No Get need me. Crystallize. Help them right in their weak Let's stay calm. Sharp as Let's go. Always, I'll cut through. In the name of justice. Warrior. Damn. Tail swipe. I would hold back. Right in the With sword in hand. I could have passed always, Rhea. This'll do it. That help. In the name of just to the four. Are you prepared? Hack and slash. No. Mage! Please! We'll fight with pride. Oh, it's like I got the least amount of health. Here. I'm gonna do a fireball at him again? Okay, cool. So then we can have him heal himself up. No holding back. Uh, this calls yeah, here we go. Of what we want to do. Oh, I could have been useless. Let's try this. Jeez, that hurt. Even being in the back row. Time to go offensive. Warrior. Ah! I die hard. This any means necessary. It's okay. Fire. We can do this. As always, Rias. Here. In the name of Petrus, Warrior. I'll cut you down. Tougher than I thought. No. 
Jeez. Jeez, bro, relax. We're, we're just here to steal your treasure. There we go. Let's go. That wasn't bad. We only had to do one retry in the beginning when they took out Stroll. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, get your bitch ass out of here. <sighs> Somehow we managed to drive it off. Never thought I'd ever have to fend off a dragon. You lot never ceased to amaze me. Well, Perhaps we simply had luck on our side this time. I must admit, however, that my heart sank at the moment that dragon woke up. If anyone truly intends to kill the beast, they need to have a gauntlet runner. A gauntlet runner would certainly make our return to Grand Trap much easier. We may as well wish for the moon. Only the most prominent nobles have the means to secure a runner for themselves. Sorry to interrupt, but look at that. Over there, isn't that a treasure chest? It sure is, yeah. Let's, let's get our reward, y'all. Cool, we got dragons, indignation, and it can be purified, so for now we will now? equip it. We'll purify it later. I know these miners are going to be happy we drove that dragon away, though. Item over here, too. I guess after killing the dragon, the, the little monsters go away, because there's no need to sneak now. Look. Isn't that the exit? We can finally get out of here. Just like we can finally breathe easy, at least for a moment. What? Oh. Could it be? Look. A dragon's roar, and you feel that shaking, right? Uh, what the? It's getting stronger. What's going on here? Oh snap! Stop. Run! Run! <laughs> Run! <laughs> oh, we just gotta avoid these. <laughs> Okay, this is like a nice little mechanic they put in the game to switch things up for you. Huh? Help me! Help me! Help me, Lord! Help me! <laughs> Was that dragon mad that we whooped his ass or what? Uh, oh, we actually made it out. And in one piece, no less. Speak for yourself. I think that shaved a couple years off my life. Damn storm. Can't afford too many delays, but we'll not be getting far in this torrent. We can make camp tonight and slip onto a carriage to the capital tomorrow once we're out of the wastes. We'll have to if we want to make it in time. Public carriage seems a bit risky, doesn't it? Not with all the outsiders flocking in for the funeral. We'll be three faces among hundreds. Yep. Lovely. I didn't plain sight. Another carriage ride. Hopefully this one's smoother than the last couple. Let's just get our camp <laughs> set up. Yeah, yeah let's, let's hope definitely. we don't have someone else get stabbed while we're fighting over our book and shit. Ah, oh, this is so cozy. I feel alive again. It's certainly better than freezing. Reminds me of when I was a child. Back then, I wouldn't have been caught dead out in the wilderness like this. Countryside nobility like us had no fortune to speak of. My parents bowed and smiled for their money, and honestly, I despised them for it. Back then, I thought being a noble was about, I don't know, a life of prestige, being respected. But one spring seven years ago, our town was attacked by this horrific creature. A human, though I had no idea at the time. I was evacuated alongside the servants while the rest of the town burned. 
I waited for my parents to join us in the shelter, but they would never come. Mm. Damn. The parents I'd so despised had stayed behind to protect the villagers who couldn't flee. Ah. And that's why he fights for parents were heroes. anybody, it pretty changed much. everything. It taught me who my parents really were, what it really meant to be a noble. But our town's just rubble now. A footnote in history. The human that destroyed us is all we'll ever be known for. <sighs> I remember my father petitioning the capital for aid, but no reply came. Even knowing how much of a threat the humans were, now I think, what if the army... Well, Luis, what if he's the one who abandoned us? If we were just a pawn in his game, then, then I will make him pay. <sighs> hey, Grius. We all trust each other now, don't we? I think we can tell him. Aye. Maybe you're right. I'll admit the lad's sword put me in mind of the past. Something special about that sword? Well, we used it to identify the messenger from our faction. But it originally belonged to his highness. Well, I have a different sword equipped now. A kingly gift from his father. To better suit his highness and his keen aptitude for magic, that blade was specially forged, with raw magla folded into the metal. Of course, when Swordplay bored him, he'd amuse himself by levitating it or standing atop it to glide about. <laughs> A royal rascal, that one. Those days were all too short. Then, twelve years ago, it all came crashing down. I've heard. The prince was attacked, right? There was a plot on his life. One I wish I'd rooted out sooner. Just like tonight, it was pouring rain. Your Highness, this way! Uh oh. I only got a couple hairs cut. Are you hurt? Oh, that's old girl from the carriage. A royal knight. Just like a younger version. Twelve years ago. That's the curse. Stop! They dare harm him. Woo. Take that mask off. Oh man. Then you escaped. I failed him again. Highness! Highness! But they're saying that Lewis put the spell or the curse on uh, the prince, because but signing over him was powerful and complex. looks like someone else of put it on. mage healers in the capital, not one could wake him. And he grew weaker with each passing day. We might lift the curse if we knew the specifics of its formula, but Luis would never give that up. Which leaves but one way to dispel the curse. Its caster must die. And you're sure Luis is the man you seek? I saw him in the fray. He was younger then, 
Younger even than you are now, and shorter besides. I could never mistake him. And now, after spilling the royal blood of father and son both, the people call him not traitor, but saviour for his highness, for the king, and for the very future of this country he must be dealt with. To kill Luis is to see justice served. All right, I'm all I for see. it. So as he did with the prince, he would make of my city a stepping stone to further heights. A tool to spread the infamy of the humans. You haven't told that story to many, have you? Thank you for trusting me with it. A rogue never forgets a debt. Even if it takes three generations, we'd see it repaid. But neither do we forget a grudge. And Luis will know that soon enough. So, that's what all this is about. Say, friend, this mission means a lot to you too, doesn't it? I guess. Yes. Of course it does. You've been carrying a greater weight than I realized. In any case, I owe you my life. And we've both got something we'd fight to protect. That rank up? Save this country. Together. Uh, ideally, once we're out of this cold, of course. I think it's about time we eat. We're almost to the capital, after all. I'd say that's worth celebrating. I'm beat. All right. You're kidding. <sighs> Time for bed. All right. Just port us in. Huh? Pretty sure I fell asleep. Well, then it's just as I thought. While you're asleep, our connection is much stronger. What? <laughs> you wield your magic with ever more confidence. Splendid. As I mentioned previously, the archetype grows and develops anew through encounters with others. Look for those bearing the nobility and presence of the heroes and kings of old. More virtuous than the weight of any crown or medal is the burden you place on your own path forward. The more comrades and supporters who stand beside you, the more your power will deepen as you soar to new heights. One day, if the people join hands and seize the freedom to decide their own future with their own power just as you do, that is my ideal world. Hold on. What do you mean, supporters? We're trying to keep out of the public eye here. I mentioned before, did I not? There is no hero without allies, only a single voice in opposition. In other words, even archetypes have their own strengths and weaknesses. They'll be of little use if used thoughtlessly. Life and death are seconds apart on the battlefield. Be attentive, mindful, and strategic. Only then can you emerge victorious. When you feel unsure how to proceed, I recommend you stop. Assess your surroundings and think. The smallest observation is often our greatest inspiration. Well, it's almost dawn. I will be watching with great anticipation. Until we meet again. The royal funeral draws ever closer. Four days remain. Already, King's funeral's coming up, is it not? We should hurry back to Grand Trad. This place here. Hmm. We'll need to catch a carriage soon if we want to make it to the Let's royal go. capital. We can wait no longer. Are you ready? Great. Let's, Let's go. Escaping the dragon's threat in the Nord mines. The party shakes their pursuers amidst the discovery of great powers. To make up for lost time, they risk hiring a coach to seek with them the rest of the way to the capital. The royal funeral draws ever closer. Two days remain.
Finally, we found a ride. Looks like we should make it in time for the funeral after all. Last time we rode in a public carriage, it was hit by bandits. A pack of Louise salads, too, if I remember. Talk about a nasty surprise. You've come a ways since then. Any bandits who set on us now are in for a nasty surprise. Reminds me of the road to the fort, sitting there in the cart. Never could have imagined you and I would be the only survivors. Strange how fast life can change. We both did well to make it out. Yes, we certainly did. The last couple days have certainly been eventful. Almost feels like everything we thought we knew about the world was wrong. Well, plenty of people live their lives without taking a single step outside their city. But we haven't the luxury of ignorance, I suppose. We're almost to the capital. Quiet now. And stay sharp. Oh, girl. Milady. Welcome back. And thank you for making the trip. After so long, I am only surprised anyone remained here who yet remembered me. Surely you jest, milady. Pay me no mind. I heard of the king's death. A skyline is full of unfamiliar figures. It is a testament to how long I've been away. It's the guard that's changed the most. It's just chaos and politics there, arguing over matters of succession. Feels like we've lost sight of who we're even protecting. Not to mention talk of monsters at the border. We've nowhere near enough soldiers to deal with them on top of everything else. After tomorrow, the city will calm. Once the formality of the funeral is passed, a new king will be crowned. After which, I suppose there'll be no further need of a search party. Not many even remember we were searching in the first place. The royal funeral draws ever closer. One day remains. Escaping the Nord Mines, the party hailed a horse-drawn coach and returns now to Grand Trad, capital of Ukronia, the day before the royal funeral. As they gaze upon the city, flags of mourning fluttering in the wind, the magnitude of their mission exacts its toll on the heart. Fog's rolling in. Rain's the last thing we need. Can this funeral withstand more misfortune? I've heard they don't have enough soldiers to keep the peace. That way it'll be fine. All the aristocrats are bringing their own personal guards. I imagine boredom's the worst we need to worry about. Let's not draw attention to ourselves. There's a hostelry tucked at the back of Sunshade Row, the hushed honeybee inn. We'll talk details once we're there. Sounds good to me. At least we're back at the Here we go. place, though. That's terribly unfair. So, if we want to look at the map, right, though. Okay. Need to go there, but there's like shops and stuff to check out, too. What the heck? Alrighty. I'll go check out that stuff later. I know you guys want the story. Good old story. Look, I don't give it to Ossie's King. I just want some coin. <clears throat> this is Sunshade Rose. Seems a fine place to disappear from prying eyes. But where's the inn? Suppose we should ask around? And I kind of don't want to. Do you need something? Arrow alley behind the right side of the gallows. Oh, so they're talking about this side. Oh, crowd on this street looks pretty rough. What's over there? 
Watch out for pickpockets. Mm -mm. If it's an igniter shot, they're doing a good job disguising. Either way, we need to be elsewhere. Okay, we'll have to come back there. See what's in there. They don't just put a shop area in a sketchy area for nothing, you know? This place. Got it. Finally, a place to get a proper rest. Something good's cooking, too. I can smell it. Let's hurry inside. You're back. Papa, welcome home. Oh, snap. Well, hello, my Maria. I trust you've been staying out of trouble. These are, uh, well, new recruits. Just enlisted. So young. It's good to meet you. I'm Fabian. This inn is my business and my home. Manas, Maria. Um, welcome. Hey, I'm wasting away over here. Where's my order? Maria, wasting away? Yes, right away. You're back sooner than I thought. Something happened. Something bad. Barely any survivors. I see. I didn't know Grius had a daughter. I know I've already asked so much of you, but... Would you mind looking after Maria a little while longer? Of course. <laughs> it wouldn't be the I like how they ignored him. And they're like, shut the fuck now, up, we're talking. As for the rest of you... After braving the frontiers with this curmudgeon, I'm sure you would welcome a warm supper. Once we're done, we'll head upstairs. Let's get this food. It's so good. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, spicy. I cough in my tongue. Oh, pipe down and eat, boy. That was delicious. Especially the meat. I wasn't expecting it to have such a kick, but it grows on you fast. Red grass roasted bido. Bird meat. One of our hometown specialities. <sighs> She's risked a lot to shelter me and to help the resistance. I owe her more than I can say. You said we were short-handed, but are we really the only ones? I know we've plenty of independent agents fighting in their own ways, but it seems none could avail themselves to us, which means we're the only ones who can do this. Still killing Luis. That's not going to be an easy feat. Grius, do you have a plan? Fill us in. Midway through the funeral, in broad daylight. That's insane. Hello. Insane. It's risky to be sure, but we'll never find a better chance at confronting the man directly. Don't worry. I'll be the only one getting close to him. I'll need you to draw Luis's attention from a different location. All I need is an opening. And don't rely on your fancy powers for this, all right? It'll attract too much attention. Killing a man and slaying a beast are two very different things. This is all I need. All right. You're joking. You and that kitchen knife against an archmage. <laughs> Isn't there anything we can do to help? No. The kitchen knife. You're just get in the way. Secret weapon. Besides, this kitchen knife can slit his throat like the swine he is. A fast kill, if not a clean one. It's nothing I've not done before. Give me my opening, and the man's dead. All right, sketchy right. idea, but not much of a choice. Your funeral, bro. One last thing. Keep Maria company a while, would you? The girl gets lonely on her own. Aren't you at least going to tuck her in? I'm going to prepare tonight. Too much still needs doing, and best that it's done as far from her as possible. And there's his fatherly side, I suppose. Sorry, but I'm going to bed early. I need a full night's rest if I don't want to be a liability. Well, we've all been short on time to ourselves, but I'd feel bad leaving Maria all alone. Shall we go check in on her? I guess. Look at that. It's a guest room. Oh, okay, we can go downstairs. Oh, she's not even in her room. Rush for the NRL lined up. I don't want to get in her way, so I'll leave him alone. Please 
enjoy your stay. Did you need something? I was thinking we could play a game. Play a game? But it's already night time. Oh, oh, she's mature. I just remembered. Papa said you have a strange book. And that I should ask to see it. You like books, huh? Well, I haven't ever seen one before. So I was wondering what they're like. Wanna read it together? Really? Oh, but I still have work to do. Don't worry, Maria. I can handle this crowd. You have fun reading upstairs. Really? Yes. You did a very good job today. Let's read then. Alrighty. Late night. There's so many pictures. Are all books like this? Miss Fabian taught me how to read a little. She said it helps with keeping the inn running. Do you help out every day? Mm-hmm. It's lots and lots of work. But it's fun too. Plus, I like when people say I'm clever. So I've got to work really, really hard. Papa always says not to go into his room. So I wait for him a lot. I'm good at waiting. Are you sure you're doing all right? Yes. Papa's always like this when he comes home. But I'm happy he's here. Thank you. It was fun talking to you. No problem. Let's do this again sometime. Really? You don't mind talking to me? Then it's a promise. You're helping Papa with his job, aren't you? Oh, we know what this means, y'all. So, be safe. I've heard his job can be really dangerous. This is a whole connection bond. She's feeling anxious herself, but she's still concerned from the bottom of her heart about our safety. I feel comforted by Maria's kind-hearted nature. The pure-hearted yep. maiden, Maria. Within her dwells the virtue of the healer. Nurture thy bond with her, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Thank you. All right. Yeah, we'll have to I check out. Papa will stay for longer this healer. Time. Not on my guy, though. Sad if he had to leave right away. I'm sure it'll work out. Okay. I think I'll try to read a little bit more. And then I'll go find Miss Fabian and go to bed. All right. I'll try to read this part now. Um, in this country, the inn, and the something king hears the voices of the city and protects their way of life. Um, what's this say? Society's purpose is to protect its citizens. This is a basic principle of this utopia. All are equal. All live in safety. And the rich and poor are as one. With no gaps. No conflict. All are friends. Deserving of help. Basically, it's a place where there's no fighting. And everyone always gets along. Wow. Where is this place? No one gets left alone there, right? I wish I could go. Can I read a little more? Um, we're probably not going to anytime soon. Can you read he was struggling a little bit there. As dawn breaks, so begins the procession to the Grand Cathedral. The King's Casket has left the castle. The procession will take the main streets to its destination, the Grand Cathedral. I'll have you blend in with the guards posted there. On my mark, you'll create a distraction. Draw Luis's attention. What, with the soldiers? But our uniforms are... I had Fabienne patch them up. In the state they were in? <laughs> that must have taken all night. Let me see. Thanks for keeping Maria company yesterday. 
I'd appreciate if it wasn't the last time. Don't worry. I'll handle it. I appreciate it. The girl just... has trouble making friends, is all. We're gonna split up as soon as we leave. At the Grand Cathedral, we'll pose as guards to cause a commotion. I leave the rest to you. I'll see to everything here. Don't worry. Papa? I'll be back tonight. Be a good girl while I'm gone, eh? Hmm. <laughs> We can read a little more from my book, all right? Really? Once we're back, let's all have dinner together. Yes, please. Be careful. See you soon. I will say the amount of voice acting they have in here is amazing. Once it's over, we'll regroup back here at night. I'm counting on you. We'll do our best. This music's setting up a vibe. <laughs> Let's get ourselves ready, then head for the Grand Cathedral. Like, like Grius is gonna die or something, I don't know. Like, they have him doing a lot of talking with this ominous music. Press R1 to open the local map icon to show you where each facility is located. Major facilities include weapon shop, armor shop, general store, and magic shop. Let's go. Oh, so that had like a, a scroll on it, so that was a magic shop that we were at. Is it? All right, so yeah. <laughs> Today's the royal funeral. The king keeps really gone. My bottle's gone too. Gonna have to throw my own royal funeral. Uh, what? We can't go this way, so let's steer. Okay. Damn. Oh, why? Yeah. Oh, boy's just sitting in the chair. Huh. I don't know why, but I can sense more's presence over there. Does that mean this place is peaceful enough that you can connect to academia? I'm trying to think of it, I did find a new power. I should go to Academia when I can. So let's go now. Now, where was I? Would you look at this? That's the power of a new archetype. Do come and speak to me, should you want to study it. Thank you for coming. You seem to be walking your own path as I expected. Well, you look splendid. I realize this is sudden, but there's something I wanted to ask you regarding the power you are all gifted with about archetypes. I have a task I'd like you to undertake. What, what do you mean by task? All right. To stand fearless in the face of change, they may not only alter your form, but reveal the heroic qualities you embody. That indeed is the truth of archetypes. The heroes of our kingdom's history all show glimpses of such power, though not to the extent you have, yet now their tales are largely forgotten, fables in obscurity. What that means? A hero standing alone is no hero at all, but a simple dissenter. Without the support of others, their ideals are soon buried beneath history's weight, and their lives go unnoticed. The same holds true for archetypes. An archetype will only reach their ultimate power once you obtain and unite many heroic embodiments. If you can achieve this, my dream shall too be fulfilled in this way. I am sure we can take the first step toward the ideal world I describe in my novel. Because you see... Researching this power is vital for me as well. For our first task, I'd like you to cultivate the heroic embodiment of the healer. I'm certain the task will be a fruitful opportunity for you to hone what draws others to you. That is to say, your outwardly royal virtue. This one's important. To nurture the strength, I'll need to challenge Louis the Archmage. I should raise the healer art... Archetype to rank 10. This can be completed by anyone. So, increases imagination and we get three hero incense. And the hero incense, guys, is what you use to uh, give EXP to the archetypes. Please. You need but complete your task and speak to me. That act alone will grant me boundless understanding. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> so we gotta grind out yes, leveling up right. healer on someone. A confrontation with your nemesis is inevitable, is it not? For all your plans and devices, one day you will have to face and fight Count uh, Luis. I hate that they call him Luis instead of like Louis. I don't know, it's just weird to me. Chance encounters often spur a hero to grow and indeed change the very world around them. As we share a fantasy of ideals, surely I too will share in this growth. This research. And when that happens, my memories may gradually return. The king's seal upon them may fade. That's just where this place is, and why the king can find me here. 
We research, you gain more power, and I regain my memories. And ultimately, we reach the utopia I dream of. A mutually beneficial agreement, no? Already, your efforts have done much for my research. Now there's more I can do to assist you. Delightful. If an archetype has learned a skill, I can make it inheritable by other archetypes. I can show you whenever you'd like. In this way, your encounters with others will become a source of even greater strength. Okay. Regards. Let us face these hardships together. I have high hopes for our future endeavors. Please, do make yourselves comfortable. Unlocking skills in academia. Skill inheritance is now available. You have to use mag in order to do that. So if I want to inherit skills, let's say... And I could either put a heal on or increase one ally's attack for three turns. Well, we already have like the right. healer archetype, so there may not be like a reason to put healing on. Hmm. I have a few skills. Yep, we'll put that on him. And then... Oh, we could put this on... We could put this on the Seeker, wow. But damn, that's 6,000 mag for passive. That's a lot. Well, I guess if I ever end up switching back, I could always have that diagonal slash on. Right. Watch this. I do scroll. He has nothing, but that means we could switch up Stroll to have other archetypes and then we could make a nice combination of stuff. So now that means we can switch up pretty much anybody's archetypes and get certain skills inherited. So let's be like for healer, we need a thousand mag to unlock that. So we got recover HP each time a support attack lands in overworld combat. That's a passive. Deal light magic. So we could... Oh, I need someone that's going to be like mage and healer. Three, we get Medi, Atra, light dodge, Akunda removes all debuffs from all allies. That's nice. And then recovers medium HP every turn, heals more of archetypes of the same lineage are present. Oh snap, we definitely gotta level this thing up. But then archetype explanation, it's skilled in restoring health and dispelling status ailments. The healer can also use light magic for attacks. However, once you take caution exposing its fragile defense and multiple weaknesses to the enemy. Yeah, how many weaknesses did it have? Oh, it just had weakness to dark and then weakness to uh what is that? One? I won't unlock it on him though. I'll save like the the mag. What would you care and to know? Does he have like something else here? Yeah, okay, cool. Alright. Well guys, I'm gonna end the episode off right here. We're gonna start it back up uh, once we leave this part. Uh, uh, once we leave this spot. And we'll go towards assassinating Louis. Luis. Whatever his name is. But hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. I'll subscribe to the channel because it lets me know you enjoyed the content. We'll see you right here. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.